Out the double doors, cuz in the six four. Child was hitting switches on these niggas back in '94. Basketball practice, and after that, I'm back to selling dope. When the cops hit the ab, I done made a rack off of my pager though. When the wop hit my box, I'ma hit him back. I'm on the payphone. My shoebox getting full, I need to go buy me a safe for real. It's treacherous outside, not supposed to have it, but I paid for it. A brand new out the box, Tully on me while I'm trapping. And I hope I ain't gotta go use it, but I know how shit tend to happen. And plus, it be like insurance with a nigga. Be out here trafficking. I'm talking about how the money gon' be good, but the niggas hating gon' be on bullshit. So it's man though that I'm sliding with this full clip and I bust this Cause bitch. trust me if I tell you that I'm with this shit, I did this shit. Believe me when I tell you it's on the floor, I don't be capping, nigga. If I don't pick my phone up when you call, I might be trapping, nigga. On the first and the third, I need like three boxes of baggies, nigga. Trapping like my nine to five, and I lust for a life of crime. When it's popping outside, I'm out sliding with this brand new nine. And I'd rather do it dolly, cause I could shoot this bitch. While well, I be driving and hold that bitch steady, gotta let loose while big steady driving. Yo, 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 y'all know who it is. It's time for that culture for the street podcast host, me and the mafia. We back at y'all with another interview. More content, more street shit. What to do, my G? It's good. It's good. You already know. Back at the end, once again. Back at the end. 750 downloads, nigga. 750. If you bust in 1K in the next 30 days, we'll be over 1K. Hell yeah, 750 downloads, organic. You feel me? Nigga, what I ain't pay for What do you tell them niggas all the time, cuz? Yeah, we work hard for that shit. Straight up. <laughs> Today's price will not be today's price. We they get slept you. on us. We was at like two, three hundred downloads. We was at two, three hundred downloads at first. Now we at seven hundred and fifty. All we need is one K. That's all we need is one thousand. We almost there. I kept trying to tell these niggas we is not no YouTube. No, 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 no. We in store. You feel me? But this, this this video here, let's talk about them famous twins though, cuz. Let's call talk them. about them. I call them the controversy twins for one. Man, look, I ain't never seen no twins like that in my life. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up. Like, when I first seen them, right, I saw them on the Honeycomb Brazen video that, uh, Mind of a what it was, mind of a maniac that boosted flow. You if you if you pay attention to the video, them two girls, them two girls with the red hair, them two twins with the red hair in that video, that's them. And if you pay attention to uh them, I think his last two interview with Say Cheese, they was on there too. They was on there too. I just don't get why so much, why they keep this clap. Like, first, it's they pops. I never really seen them mourn like that. You lose a parent, you're going to mourn for a minute. But you got to think about it, cuz. These little girls, I ain't going to even say little girls, because they, they probably like about 23, 24. But they before they time, like, they street orientated for real, for real. Okay, but for that shit to spill off onto your family though, and you still like in the eye of the public, like for losing the parents, you didn't do too much. You didn't do too much weeping. You didn't do too much. It, you know what I mean? If you get what I'm saying, like they really wasn't sensitive to the fact. You see what I'm saying? They lost a parent though. Then you that got shit. Real daddy though. That was their stepdad. Okay, okay, okay. That's different. You know what I'm saying? No, that's that's, that's different. That. So ain't no telling. Ain't no telling what happened. Ain't no telling what happened when, you know what I mean, all of them was in the household. Ain't no telling what, what went on. I mean, but I thought that was for, real them, for them for them not to have no remorse like that towards them, you know, some they, they probably had some some other shit going on, you feel me? Man, so, 
them broads is poison, man. But I mean, I'm talking about it's crazy how it popped up yes, how it popped off yesterday, right? I'm sitting here chilling. So at the same time while I'm chilling, Bay got down. She she said like they um the video going on, them twins, they hitting. So on the video, you see like four five girls, they pushed up on them. I think they, yeah, they was already on the scene. Like they supposed to like met up at a little spot or whatever. But the walking distance, it, it probably took them like, I ain't gonna count. It probably took like about 15 seconds for them to get over there to where the twins were. But as soon as they got over there to where they was, they dropped them off the rip. They dropped both of the twins. But mm -hmm. that, that, that red one, shit. Well, she up that bitch and let that bitch go, dog. Now she let that bitch. That's the self defense part of it. But if they bail it, self defense go out the window because they. Um, yeah, trying. see, they, they, that's what I'm saying. See, they record and they, they recorded they self. Like they fun. recorded they self doing too much. Like crying and oh my god, none of that. They man, like man, look. They got so many, they, they got so many outstanding felonies, dog. Just looking at that video, like I said, man, these little these, these girls gonna fuck around and get a life sentence just for recording. What's gonna happen, man? Is them bras too ratchet, man, to let in Hollywood, man. They get in Hollywood, they gonna fuck Hollywood up, man. Yeah, they gonna fuck the industry up with that. It's already ratchet how they, you know what I'm saying? They selling sex times a thousand now, but that part of the game, bringing bras like that. Man, look, I don't, even, of, I don't even think they go, they, I don't even think they aiming at being rappers, though. I think they trying to be actors or something, because everything they do they is controversial. Go, all the shit that they, they, they get into, it lead to them gaining followers from it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they into the social media heavy. They get into something, the whole social media following it. Oh, them bitches got to a shootout. Oh, them bitches got to, you see what yeah, I'm saying? That's what, that's what they were saying. They was like, they was trying to get people to delete the video, but it's too, it'd be too late. You know, once once that video hit the database, it's in there, it's over. I ain't no, I ain't no trying to delete nothing is there. Just like when niggas try to delete messages when the police come, especially for these niggas that got iPhones and shit like that. You can delete mm -hmm. that shit, but that shit still gonna be saved in the database, dog. It's still gonna be in there. And like I and said, it look like shit. By the time, by the time Brazer get out, shit, they, they, they probably might not even be free. What I'm saying. So yeah, right now they, they, charge, gonna, man. they gonna gain a lot of clout from this shit, but they also gonna they gonna be put in the eyes of the of the, of the system like the rappers. True. They be rappers. True. I don't know what they is. They supposed to be rappers. They, I mean, they they know locally, but I don't think like I man, ain't, I ain't no hit or no shit like that. They step back, I kill. A lot of the world didn't. A lot of the I world mean, wasn't in the background to see who was with Honeycomb Brazy. Them motherfucking bras was nobody's. I mean, you know I mean, it it gave me a clue when I seen it. Like, shit, they might fuck around and be some rappers because you know how this rap shit go. You feel me? The same person that be riding shotgun with the rappers might be the one that's next. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, they, uh, they money coming off of ne negativity. When your money coming from the negativity, that shit gonna be short lived. Cause you see, I and they made you, bond. And yeah, they yeah, made bond. Money off of social media. When you get money on Instagram and you get money on Facebook, when you got your shit monetized on these platforms, you getting a bag like you getting a YouTube bag if you monetize. So if you got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, plus you got your YouTube, nigga, that's four different right. avenues of monetization and monetary gain you reciprocate in. So they not they not just getting one check, they getting four. 
different checks. True. Facebook got a bam. So that video right there, it was live on what? Instagram, Facebook, yeah, one of the two. It was live on everything. It went viral less than but five had, seconds, dog. It had been live on either Facebook or Instagram, though. The females, the females that was out there waiting on them, they was there first. They was fly waiting on however, them to pull up. However, it was recorded. It was either from Instagram or Facebook because they're the only two platforms got alive besides True. TikTok. True. And TikTok don't erase that. They're not gonna let you put that on TikTok. They 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 going they gonna hold that video. You see what I'm saying? So that had to be Instagram or Facebook. So once motherfuckers get up in there and they put it on there, okay, it's negativity, but it goes viral. They still gonna get a bag for it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So the bond money they spent to get out, shit, they finna get that right back at the turn of the month from yeah. the viral success of the video. Monetization, true. And that shit crazy. Go viral. Instead of going viral, instead of going viral, you know what I mean? And if you look at, if you look at, uh. If you look at the live when they first got out, you know what I mean? You can see, you can see they shouting out Brazy, like free Brazy, free Brazy. But that's close. He probably, he probably know all them females that was out there hitting. You feel you know me? That's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? But it's temporary money though. Because yeah. you ain't gonna be able to get no clout. You, you ain't gonna your, 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 you ain't gonna be able to post videos all day, you in jail. You see what I'm saying? So the negativity come gonna come to a heart at some point because if you ain't stacking that shit now, which they probably not, because now you gotta pay to get up out of all kinds of trouble and shit. And maintain your lifestyle at the same time. Whoever whoever signed them, that's a bad investment. They high risk like a motherfucker, dog. High risk is fuck. I'm trying to tell you, like. They allowed to leave the studio and rob the bank. That's how high risk they is. They subject to set a mm -hmm. rapper up and get killed. Yeah. That's they them type of broads. They them type of broads. You bring them around me, I'm watching them the whole time. Because I mean, they are turning into instant targets. Whoever, so I, if I'm not mistaken, the female that they was fighting was a set of twins too. It was a set of twins, and it was a like I said, it was a it was a big girl. She was the first one that dropped one. She was the first one stepping. To be honest, like this shit kind of got past me to you saying something because I don't follow them. Like, man, I don't, I don't either. I just be saying when like they don't been on they don't been on Dirty Glove. Like, I, if I'm not mistaken. They came to Dirt Glove twice after we did. Now you don't see the pattern though. Not to knock them going on Dirty Glove, but they using that platform to keep their face relevant. Yeah, true. And, it, and we we already know them interviews is fifteen hundred dollars a pop. So in the industry, they ain't nobody. So they play out next week. So they always got to be involved in bullshit to stay relevant. Yeah. When the last I mean, time you really heard somebody talk about six nine, the nigga ain't if he ain't trolling and shit like that, nobody checking for bro. Nobody checking yeah. for that nigga. Ain't nobody so it's the same kind of shit. Like right now, they need the clout to 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 monetize. That's why I what uh I forgot who said that shit. It was like when you when you chasing fame. And then you get famous some kind of way and you start chasing the fame of it, like trying to elevate from that shit. You find yourself trying to do a bunch of bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what they doing. Now they know like controversy sell. They make money off of stupid shit. And they get caught up in stupid shit that's making money, but it's complicating their life though. Yeah. I mean, like I, like I said, they can capitalize off of it. Or if they don't, they crazy because the shit they be doing, they be they be doing shit that can get them a whole life sentence out. 
with this type of energy, now you're gonna have to go get security to do walkthroughs. Man, ain't nobody, nobody even, ain't nobody finna book them because they, yeah. I feel they, they to the point to where they done messed up they, they yeah. reputation. Because now they gonna have the young boy effect. All the bitches wanna see them hoes. Mm -hmm. All the bitches gonna wanna, yeah, bitch, we, we, yeah. Can, we just St. Louis, bitch. I, you, you see what I'm saying? Every pit stop, it's gonna be some bitches that I don't give a fuck them no. hoes. Yeah. yeah, they put that type of energy out there, though. It's out there. Yeah, it's out there. They, they, out there. they, they put the wrong energy out. They could have capitalized off of just. Working in their crowd, but they went the other way with that shit, man. They want to age. You can't really even afford to have no gun now because you're in trouble. So, boom, you out shopping with your sister. Y'all trying to do some, some bit to see y'all run down on y'all. Now, what? Another so, video. They literally had the camera going while Shawty pulled off in somebody's driveway, put the bitch in reverse, and at the same time, when they pulled out of the driveway, shot was still holding, the, still hitting the record button, and she telling the other girl, shoot. I'm like, what the fuck kind of uh, police shit this is? I would have turned around like, bitch, you shoot. We got this camera going. You talking about shoot. Your motherfucking man need to shoot. You trying to send a motherfucker to chain game. That's a whole drive-by. That's a life sentence, dog. Even if they don't hit nobody and they shooting outside the car, that's an elbow. They don't play. I, I can't speak for all places because I I don't know about Mobile, but I know in Georgia. I'm locked up in Alabama, man. Shit. They ain't playing about nothing. Right. They're going to get you some time, nigga. Hell yeah. That drive-by shit. Man, you ain't coming home. For real. That's menace to society shit. For real. But you know what I mean? Hard oh, head make a soft ass. I hate it for them young girls. They ready, they ready for chain game though. No, they not. They, shit. Ain't no way in the hell you finna be. Ain't no way in the hell you you can keep doing all that shit and think you just gonna keep going to the county. And them folks just gonna keep same getting you a slap on the wrist. It's the same way as a nigga in the street get money, cuz when they start, they start off in the mud. This shit meant to, this shit meant everything. Then when they they get that brick, they start losing track. They start feeling like DMX when he went through the red light, nigga in belly, nigga fuck the police. You know what I'm saying? Get careless. It's kind of like that. one uh, thing about them. Let me tell you something, cause one thing about them small cities that we come from, them white folks is not finna let you tell their shit, dog. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I don't I don't give a fuck. Who you is? You got a small city. If you don't come from a big city like L.A., Houston, um, New York, shit like that, you got a population of 200,000, 50,000, 10,000. Them folks gonna bam your stupid ass on guard. For yeah, real. Drive by, drive by California, get you gonna get you a hell. That what I'm saying. You doing <laughs> drive-bys in a little small ass city? Why the... Why your damn homegirl recording, man? They should have beat her ass when she got out of the car. Well, the twins should have got it too. Cause, bitch, you doing all this shit. Ain't no telling how many felonies they finna give us. We running red light, stop signs. We shooting. Broad daylight. Where the gun at? And, and allegedly, they said two people got shot. And we already know, we seen who was holding the camera. Her sister was holding the camera while she shoot a motherfucker. What the fuck kind of shit this is? You finna send your sister so far up the road, so far up the road, dog. That's what I'm saying. The fame to them means so much that the recklessness don't, they're not even paying attention to none of that. And that's what a lot of niggas yeah. having the street one niggas thing, always. One thing about the streets, bro. If your mama don't teach your ass, the streets will spank your ass. That's why I feel, that's why I felt that shit. I think I watched that shit a million times when Wallow 
was talking the dirt. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It took a real nigga to sit there and talk to this nigga and share some tears about this shit, thinking about some shit yeah. he had to, to swallow his pride over and shit. Like you gotta, it, you gotta you, you, he looking at, just think about it, cuz. And this, 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 with this, I'm speaking for all big homies. You hear me? When a young nigga get killed in the hood, a young nigga get killed in the streets, it's really all the big homies' responsibility. Not saying like they supposed to be the nigga daddy, but majority of these little niggas don't got no daddy. So who is the next to, next to kin? The big homie. He is responsible. You feel me? He got he 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 got the power to to lead that young nigga the right way, or or lead that female the right way. That's why they said what uh, what 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 they all was saying. Uh, oh, certain OGs need DPS. Who who did? Who the hell said, who the hell said that shit was okay for them girls to do shit like that? Somebody they looked up to that was probably doing some shit like that. Going live, shooting and all that shit, man, that gotta be the most dumbest shit ever to do. It's, it's, I feel like any nigga that's a big homie that ain't pushing to the younger crowd evolving PDP. For if sure. You, I agree. You, something, you still promoting the I most. agree. I agree. Young niggas. You heard you. you if you are old nigga pushing negativity into the young nigga's head, you need a DP. Ain't no way in the hell you supposed to be leading these young niggas to the goddamn chain game. But if that's what you're doing, you ain't no, ain't no way in the hell. You ain't nigga, gonna show up. You ain't gonna show no sympathy to the goddamn little nigga die, but you ain't gonna show no sympathy why he here. You gonna my whole feed the nigga to the wall. You know, because you gotta think. I, I, that what he said was relevant to today because look what we talk about all the time. How you look around the shit and. OGs ain't got nothing for young niggas to look up to. I'm 17, got more money than you, got more shit going on than you, and you trying to tell me something. Shut the fuck up talking. You see what I'm saying? I see exactly what you said. Even what you did 20 years ago, come home from jail for a nigga don't give a fuck what you doing now. That's how niggas look at shit. Real talk. You can't, man, a lot of these niggas ain't having nothing to for no nigga to be listening to them. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. It, I don't know. But that shit meant everything because niggas need to see that. And it got to come from the right types of niggas for real. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. coming from Wallow, niggas respect Wallow and Gilly. So that hit different than that shit coming from niggas, niggas looking at like, man, them niggas ain't really that. And that, 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 that. Niggas know Wallow when it sat down for 17. All kind of shit. So that shit hit different. Niggas know right. Philly. Right. When, 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 when you got, when you got official niggas like Wallow, who, who been where they going, and he giving them the real like that, bro. Like, when he did that, that, that just showed that just showed how solid he was. Like, it showed the spiritual side of him that he cared for the young black man. Not and only with, but you know what fucked me up, cuz when you watch it, like the first 10 times I watched it, I was only caught up on Wallow and how he broke down talking about it. Then the yeah, next yeah. 10 times I watched it, I paid attention to all the young niggas. Niggas, them niggas damn near didn't blink while he was talking. They, they got the way they like this, like, nigga, hold on, nigga, I can't. What he was saying? They don't, yeah. they was, was really tuned into that shit because they knew that shit was real. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? These niggas came to the trenches, our trenches, to tell us, like, look, man, somewhere along the line, y'all gonna have to swallow y'all pride about something. Who doing that? Because the average nigga, they bring the old dog. They, they was the, the, they, they the first. They made history. Everybody, made everybody else was scared. And they was scared because of the violence and this side, this side. Them is real men. But we can't even like, say the niggas. I'm not these. even. I'm not. Well, I'm not even trying to say like I ain't even trying to make it no spiritual thing like that. But them men was God fearing. They knew they went to a dangerous environment, but they had a message that they had to give to them niggas. I'm gonna tell you why they don't get that kind of message from nobody else. Cause everybody else that come to Chirac coming to be a groovy. True. I want to go to Oblak. I want to go to. Yeah. Ain't no right. nigga right. gonna go listen to a groovy. Right. right. You can't tell me nothing, nigga. You over here groupied out that you over here in my projects and shit. Shut up. Man. Shit, why don't Gilly didn't do that? They came over here, nigga. Nah. I want to see what the environment look like, nigga. I want right. to stand outside and see what this shit look like. And, and, and nigga, yeah, like, yeah, it was just a different thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Respect to them niggas, because. Yeah, big respect, man. Because yeah. a lot of niggas talk that shit about talking to the, to the, to the niggas that need uh, that light shine on them, but they, they really put that shit in action. You know what I mean? Like, they did that. Like that, that made me like. I already look at them, them brothers like some real stand up men, like some uncles to the street. But that really did it even more because that let me know, like, damn, bro, if Wallow could touch the youth, I could do that shit too because I could relate. I know niggas that's outside with poles ready to ready to risk it all. At even give any given time too, and I can I can really I can give them them same jewels. You know what I mean? And and I and 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 one thing, my wallow man, he a different he he a different type of solid dude. I ain't never seen no dude like that that push uh 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 good motivational speeches towards the ones that might be down, the ones that don't want to go to work. Like he push, he 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 put that battery in your back to let you know like you can succeed. No, that's why a lot of niggas don't succeed because they scared of themselves. And what they can they own. like that's why we got a a we failing miserably in our class of people because we don't believe we can do shit. You got niggas outside that think I'm just gonna be a street nigga forever. When you don't even realize, nigga, you walk around spray painting murals on shit, nigga, that's a god given talent. Niggas could travel in the world doing this shit. All this shit, your talents is worth something in all aspects of life, man, so you got to figure it out. But a lot of people discouraged. If you got people that could be the next Drake, but he's somewhere, his friends ain't telling him he could be the next Drake. He ain't getting the support to feel like he could be the next Drake. So nigga, he gonna continue to work at McDonald's. He gonna continue to work at McDonald's, at McDonald's and never chase nothing he could have been. So you never know what you could have been, but you take out for this lifestyle you're gonna have to live because you chose not to chase your dream. So it's like that's, a lot of that's, that's what exactly that's why I made that statement today when I seen my little bro, my little partner from the hood. I see him blogging, I see him creating content, and then the other like yesterday, I seen another young brother he had beside him, and they like, shoot, like bro, you know, they creating content together, and I'm like, dang. It ain't, it don't take no rocket scientist to see that they was watching us, cuz that they seen like, like, I want to do this shit and like, I don't care what nobody got to say. So as me, you know, being a 
you know, a big home into my hood and I see that he probably not, I don't know his situation, but I'm figuring if he had the funds, he probably would have him a stand. So I got two stands. So I'm gonna get a young nigga a stand and I'm gonna give him a sheet and tell him, bro, turn up. You feel me? That's how like, it's supposed to go. That's how it's supposed to go. That's how it's supposed to go. It it, it, like, like, the big homies don't pose to just get behind the young nigga just when he need to give the little nigga a pole. You see this nigga got a gift. If you can help, man, help the young nigga out, you gonna receive your blessings in the end. It definitely is. That's what it's coming down to, cause ain't no, let's just keep it real. Ain't no fathers in these households. No. The big know. homies is the father. And, and so that, they, niggas don't want to help you do nothing because they don't want you to succeed if it ain't got something to do with them too. So you almost got to do shit on your own. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no niggas. Everybody ain't somewhere where they got a nigga that's like, oh shit, nigga, I'll put the bag up. You just do what you got to. You see what I'm saying? Like, ain't no niggas. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't in no environments like that. We in environments where it's savagely nigga. Everybody for themselves. How can you build anything in an environment like that? Because you don't get the support from that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the discouraged, you're going to get discouraged quick. Because let's just say you chase after something for a year, you don't get no support. Do you want to do it for another year? You just spent all this money, you ain't get no support. So people get discouraged just like that because they feel like this shit ain't work. When you don't realize this shit really take some time. If you ain't willing to take that time first, you ain't going to get no real results. Real talk. Yeah. This is how that shit go. Now, now what I do want to talk about is this baby shit. Like, it seemed like he get a lot of backlash behind doing this tape with young boy. I mean, it ain't even just that because he just got out of the situation. Like his but name you, stay, his name stay in some shit. It do, it do, but ain't none of that connected to other rappers in AB. It's, it's not, it's not connected to her, but you know like how old people say when a, when a young nigga keep getting in trouble. He ain't gonna learn. He ain't gonna learn. He's still doing the same. He he always. No, cause you don't. Niggas gotta go back a year too, bro. Before this shit got super serious, like it is between them niggas and Young Boy. The baby and Young Boy was doing music then. They got videos that's almost at a hundred million. That's a year old, over a year old, and shit like that. They been doing music. Nobody said nothing about this shit. Nobody but, said all. I mean, but you well, gotta I mean, look at it. See, nah, it at first, at first it was on some business shit, but then the baby also he also threw his stuff out like that. Like, oh, everybody against that young nigga. Yeah, all y'all nigga. He he said all y'all young, all y'all against this young nigga. Nigga, fuck that. He against. I, I'd rather rock with a nigga that's against everybody. Huh? I don't think he said that. No, I saw that myself. He said this? He spoke when, when everybody was going against young boy, like, he was like, nigga, I respect the nigga that, that's going against the world instead of everybody clicking up. Like, he, he, he big them up, like, turn up, young nigga. But I still don't feel like him doing the tape with him saying, nigga, I'm rocking with him. No, 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 no. I don't think that either. No, no, that's business. This the hottest rapper. Why not do a feature with him? The reactions they got going on about him doing his tape, nigga, like he said. Not that, but you know they going to do that. But let's just be real, nigga. Anybody that get a chance to do a whole tape with well, Anybody that get a chance to do a whole tape with YB Dog, you finna get a big bag. So... I mean, that's just being smart. Just to do it, he got two and a half million. You see what I'm saying? The after effects of when it come out. Like, 
three million just didn't do that it. That ain't even that ain't that ain't even including the visuals and that and, and all the other platforms. That's what I'm saying. They got so it's not a bad investment at all. I'm not. They just on that. They just on that. They just on that dick riding shit. You see what I'm saying? Cause, cause it's YB against everybody. So they rather ride with the other side because of the numbers. You know how it go. Niggas want to be with the big game because of the numbers. They don't want to be with the small, smaller game. They threw him into this shit. I mean, but he a gangster though. He did a tape with YB and these niggas just threw him in the but, situation. But, but see, but he, they did, but guess what? Niggas already know how he come. Y'all already, y'all already know. Y'all already know if you come in this man way, he ain't gonna play with no nigga. Like he said on his caption, that young nigga said, "I wake up every day ready to teach me a nigga." To teach me a nigga. No, he said a nigga like you. Yeah, re- well, ready to teach me a. Nigga I didn't like want to say it like that, but you broke no. it down. Ready to teach me a nigga like you. Right, yeah, all that, all that old tough ass shit, I'm all that. Any nigga that's talking to me, fucked up. Yeah, I'm ready to pap your ass out or, or blow your ass down. Either one. So I don't take no sides of shit, but I respect that shit because I, I, I respect him to the fullest. Cause you know why? All listen. One thing I know about the baby. No, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this: the baby is like. The ludicrous of the generation when it comes to this rap, and I'm not saying uh, character-wise. I'm saying with his charisma. If you did what I'm saying, his charisma is like ludicrous. He don't make no, no shoot him up and bang bang, spin again, spin again. He'll mention like, yeah, I put that fire on your ass in one of these songs, but other yeah, than he that, he's smart. He's smart. You know what I mean? So they can't really put him in the category as he he you can't put him in no game banging category. You can't put him in no he's a follower, he's a dick riding category. You you look at this little nigga like a little 50 cent or something. He ride his own wave, he don't play by no rules. Like he said, it ain't a gang, it ain't a hood, it ain't nothing that can stop me. From spending my money with who the fuck I want to, who the fuck if y'all don't like him? Fuck y'all! And he stood on that, and he and he told him, and he called them niggas some tower boys. Says your big homie in my DM right now explaining. Yeah, yeah, and I believe that though. Oh I'm yeah, gonna... most definitely because they already know they. You know why? Cause I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. The baby be everywhere, Dirk. Listen, dog. I'm gonna tell you like this. Majority of the Chicago dudes, they be thinking like, since they from Chicago, that it ain't no gangsters nowhere else. And the baby had to show them nigga like, it's a real nigga from Charlotte on the same thing y'all on. But he ain't had to talk to do that though. Nigga, he no, he ain't have to. No, he ain't have to show it, but he he had to tell. He had to tell little Mimo that because you know Mimo he be talking like. See, 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 see. You got niggas like you got niggas like Mimo that talk like since he from Chirac, everybody else got to bow down. But you got to think of his position. His music ain't what's yeah. getting him up. It's the clout chasing, the talking, and the trolling. It, oh, it, that's it, it, it do. It, it do. It get you where you need to be. But when you run into a real one, and when the dough swain, you don't swain, then your ass get papped out. Then it look like you some bullshit. Because you talk like you a whole uh, 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 demon out here. Whatever that shit y'all, man. All right, you keep bringing that same nigga. This this what I don't understand. Okay, for niggas that be claiming this demon shit, demon, 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 demon. Y'all niggas identifying yourself as demons, right? So when you get around a solid nigga who don't recognize you, you all on the internet saying you a demon, 
and you get wrong and he fire your stupid ass up and you be like, oh, I don't know what was wrong with Buddy. He just went to tripping all no, nigga. You claim you this and that. No, I'm going to warm your dumb ass up. Because you think you tough. Come up off that shit, man. I don't know why DJ Academics gave them niggas that title because motherfuckers taking that word and they thinking that a motherfucker can't put their ass in the graveyard. DJ Academic didn't do that. They did it to themselves because no, they- I'm didn't. talking about when he was giving all of the Chirac rappers a uh, nickname. Like he the one gave Lil Reese the Grim Reaper. He the one gave Fredo Santana, God bless the dead, Chirac Dean. He gave they, all them niggas their names. I'm talking about like their egos. I think that just came from Chicago living and the fact that they feel like they had so much light on them that to the world, it looked like Chicago was harder than everybody else. That <laughs> is to their ego, cuz. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it do something to their ego, but like I said, when you niggas leave these big as cities and you touch down in these small cities, just know it's gorillas outside too. They gotta be gotta be careful in Cali. You just went to, you just had an argument. Niggas don't understand that is why Kodak Black got shot in California. Niggas ran up on him and was like, what's up about that shit you said with Lord London? Fight break out. My 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 mouth. Shots break out. That's about some shit he said two years ago. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That nigga said that shit and then went to jail and then came home, got his shit together, then went out there and the nigga still said, hey, what's up with that? It's going to happen to him like that. Them gang banging niggas, nigga that ain't from Whack Hood might see that nigga out there. What's up with that shit you was talking about on the West Coast and shit? But, and but it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like vice versa, like, 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 when Trick Dad would tell the Wet 100, pull down here to the bottom. Come on down here to Poking Beans. Yeah, we know y'all got steppers over there, but come over here to Poking Beans, though. That's what they don't realize. It's an old block in every city. Yeah. It's and niggas on whatever. And then, and then see, this what is this what they got to realize about the South. You know what I mean? We so not to belittle where I'm from, but it's it's poor where we from. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. when we see these guys from these big cities that got all the things that we don't have, and you sit there and talk down, or you feel like you know tourists, that that just make the plate even bigger. That just put the barbecue sauce on your ass. And it put a big target on your ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's already bad enough you thinking you tough because wherever you from, man, you got the man. I don't give a damn if you go through a city with two red light, man. It's some all right, it's some niggas down there too. You gotta respect the ground that you walk on. They gonna get busy. Yeah. Everybody niggas getting down like that everywhere, worldwide, not just your city. Worldwide. Worldwide, you put that type of energy out there in the universe, it's gonna come back and bite you, y'all. That's how it is. And really, it is. Look how many losses, not just O Block directly, but they whole camp. Just because OTF, just because O Block get the most shine in the industry, doesn't mean niggas in OTF haven't been losing some kind of way. Niggas in 600 haven't been losing. It don't, we don't yeah, see yeah. all this shit. We only man, what they like this, bro. Like I tell niggas all the time, yeah, that shit be fun in the beginning, but but if you don't get a grip on life, niggas gonna be dead or in jail. I, I man, look, I ain't got I ain't got no reason to lie, bro. Damn that every nigga that grew up with me is gone. No doubt. You know what I mean? So. The the solid people that I have in my life now, I cherish that. I cherish that shit because one thing about the streets, bro. Yeah, you start off a hundred deep, but in the end, boy, it ain't gonna be a hundred left. 
be a one D. Yeah, yeah, it ain't gonna be a hundred left in the street, boy. Hell no, I was the less fortunate to goddamn slide through the cracks. And to go back to what you said about like it, like they think it's fun. I don't even think they think it's fun. But when you growing up in the culture to where your voice don't matter unless you got some bodies. True, I see what you're saying. It's the same way as it was. 20, 30 years ago, nigga, if you ain't put in no work, nigga, go to the store, get these goddamn bucks, man. Yeah. You the brunner, you the, you see what I'm saying? It's the same thing, but it's just more intense. Because a nigga ain't got, nigga, you can't, in a room full of killers, your voice ain't going to be heard unless you, unless you got, you unless got you. Song. So it's like you, you physically and mentally put, being put in that environment every day. Because if you ain't known for that, how you gonna survive? You gonna get eight. Yeah. So they gotta do, they gotta come outside and turn into an animal to survive. I can't even go to the corner store because this nigga's driving down the street trying to catch one of us slipping. So I can't even go get a shell because I might be the next score for the dops. Whether I got a gun or not. So it's like, yeah, hell yeah, you gotta turn into an animal. Just to go get the blunts, you got to damn near be fearless. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. You, it's tough. It's rough when you gotta go. When you gotta go outside, ride around and shit, nigga. Yeah, and be seen. A city that got at least a thousand niggas right now today, while we talking in a car somewhere with a gun, looking for a nigga. And then you can be killed. On just mistaken identity. You could just be coming out of somewhere because you in that section, or oh, he one of them. Bye, 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 bye. Man down. So it's really not safe for the street niggas, and it's not safe for the civilians neither. <clears throat> they at risk of catching a bullet in traffic just because two niggas see each other. Like, it's, it, that shit dangerous. It's definitely not fun, and it's fucked up for your mentality. FPG. You gotta live like that. You can't even trust the bitches because they got you meeting them over here getting smoked by niggas. So it's like, shit. They mentality gonna be different when they gotta live like that every day. They don't even get an hour to be like, even when they sit in the house, they gotta be on deck. Thirty niggas in the crib, all their guns out, because a nigga will try to still kick the door, shoot the crib up, ride down. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Ain't no, like, how you sleeping comfortable? I'm pretty sure the glizzy already in your hand. Ready to go. It's like your environment is creating them, is creating what they are. So I can't really say they think it's fun. It's the same way we thought about getting money off with hustling. Once we see $1,000, we like, this shit, sweet. But at the end of the day, it's either do this shit or go back to a nigga eat noodles every motherfucking day because a nigga been starved. Nigga gonna go out there and take that risk to get that thousand, that two thousand, cause nigga, that's how I'm eating. That's how I got the new shoes. That's how I'm able to help my mom pay the bills and da da da. You know what I'm saying? You gonna it's gonna train you. It's gonna self train you. And they environment self train them. It's just like the Cali niggas. They be they self train to self destruct. They come out the womb. They dad gang banger. They mama was a gang banger at. They gonna choose the side when they get older. And then in California, mm -hmm. depending on where you move, that's where you motherfucking from. That's where so you wherever are. my mama move, when I get old enough to run around this motherfucker, that's where I'ma be from. So they, they trained into that shit. So it's not like, I can't say they think it's fun. They being trained into that shit. Some, the motherfucker got, the only way you can damn near make it up out of that shit in California is to move out of California. Real talk. See, every state is cluttered with that. And this every city in that state is cluttered with that shit. You get to the bank. So the only way you can live a different type of way is to get the fuck mm -hmm. out of there. And that's the same thing for Chicago. You wanna you wanna live right, you gonna have to get the fuck up out of there. You gotta get up out of there. You gotta get up out of that hole. Kill Blue Pookie, 
back in 96. I caught you today. You going to die today. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. And all that. Well, God gonna understand why I got you because you killed little Pookie and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught you today. You gonna die today. So it's like shit. Your past can haunt you in the future. Good. Yeah, man. But this is all we got to give y'all on this episode on the time for that Coach for the Streets. We're going to be back to y'all with some more content. Y'all know, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We out. Follow us on Spotify and episode will be out tomorrow. Visual, 8 o'clock. Audio will be out before noon in the morning. Subscribe, tune in, fuck with us, and cut. Cut.